the uh, nervous system, which is super important, and our autonomic nervous system, uh, our parasympathetic that helps us to relax, and the sympathetic that helps us to move. But when they go into dysregulation, the sympathetic will bring us to anxiety. Okay. We are going to work a little bit with that today. But um, yeah, the more we learn about all this, the more we can also understand others, understand ourselves, and explain it to others if you want to try to help them to, okay, uh, this is what we can do, you know, with your clients, with your children, with your students, anywhere, friends. Okay, so let me um, invite you, let's, see, let's start with finding a comfortable position. Um, I'm going to be sitting, you can also be standing, but somehow if you can sit and have your spine straight, there is a slightly different experience of feeling the spine straight and the rest of the body relaxed and the support that comes from the chair or the couch or the floor where you might be sitting. But, but if you only can be laying down, then just follow my voice and go through the different areas uh, in the body that I'm going to be bringing us to. Okay, so this is the three centers meditation, which is at the roots of the course that I'm teaching on embodying safety at the Polyvagal Institute. And here we have just the practice, but it's powerful. Let's Start by sitting uh, in a comfortable position with the spine straight, if at all possible. Perhaps you even need to put something behind your back to help you keep your spine straight. Or perhaps if you're sitting in a chair, you can move yourself a little bit more towards the edge of the chair. That will make your spine go straight. Otherwise, there is a tendency eventually to round the back. So... And we always want to find a position that's comfortable. Uh, that's at the root of uh, classical yoga too. The developing of a sitting that you're not struggling with yourself where you're going through the practice. So see uh, how to arrive to this moment, what uh, arrangements or little changes you need to do to feel comfortable with your closing, with your sitting. And then... For a moment, uh, let's bring our attention to our body. How is it feeling right now? Any sensations in the body? Just landing back into the present moment, into this body that's always waiting for us. Um, like a lover that's waiting to receive and give love. Our, our body responds very well to the love that uh, we give it through working with our breath, with our touch, even with our posture. If you straighten your posture, you already feel like there is a little bit more of a space inside you. And then work with uh, staying comfortable. So don't force anything we are not controlling but inviting so the spine is straight the body is relaxed we uh, have a general sense of how the body is feeling right now and we are going to help it to become more and more uh, grounded relaxed center and to heal from the emotional wounds that we might be experiencing for different challenges in our life. So let's notice the breath, how we are inhaling and exhaling without trying to change it. Just by observing the breath, you will notice how um, the breath is very important. And then you will also notice that as you observe every inhale and every exhale, the breath becomes a little bit more calm.
no expectations. What's happening is that you are bringing your attention and intention, your mind, which was going to the past and the future and figuring things out to, okay, let's come back to the present moment and then let's uh, call our attention and intention of relaxing by paying attention to the breath. So there is already in that focusing uh, help to become a little bit more calm. But don't have any expectations. Be very uh, patient with yourself. Whatever happens is perfect. And just keep breathing. Now let's inhale through the nose, slowly, gently, and deeply like sign. And exhaling through the mouth. Long, slow, complete exhale without forcing. So we inhale like sign, relaxing. Exhale through the mouth. Seeing if we can make this exhalation a little bit longer than the inhale. When you have a longer exhalation, you're helping your parasympathetic nervous system, which is the one in charge of relaxing to, to do its work. So let's have three uh, slow inhales and exhales at your own rhythm, with the exhale being a little bit longer than the inhale, or however long you can manage uh, comfortably. And I like inhaling through the nose and when I have a lot of charge, exhaling through the mouth, like blowing the air out. Maybe there is a natural pause that happens there and then inhaling. When the time comes to exhale, exhaling. you need to help your mind to focus, you could say, as I inhale, I'm aware that I'm inhaling. As I exhale, I'm aware that I'm exhaling. This is a teaching from Thich Nhat Hanh, a beloved Buddhist monk, with these words, as I inhale, I'm aware that I'm inhaling. As I exhale, I'm aware that I'm exhaling. You can also just say inhale. with the same intention that with a longer phrase, I'm aware that I'm inhaling, just say inhale. And exhale. You can have the hands at the heart. You could rub your hands, bring this center of your palms, which are healing vortexes to your own area here of the heart and the lungs and the sea of tranquility point which is a release point from acupuncture and acupressure is four finger breath from the end of your breastbone you find your breastbone by finding your la your ribs you know that your ribs are attached to your breastbone and then the last rib so you kind of go there and connects your body okay find your last rib bring to the center and there you will find the breastbone right there. Let's see, that's the rib. That's the breastbone. That's four finger breasts up from the end. And that's more or less at the height of the nipples. And also because we are rubbing the hands to create circulation of blood and chi, vital energy. And uh, we are bringing the center of the palm there to that point. We are going to cover the whole area, the whole vortex of energy there for the heart and the lungs. And inhale slowly, gently, and deeply. Exhale. 
Exhale, inviting your body to relax. These we do always as preparation for anything else or as treatment or you know as, as anchoring. It's coming back to the sea of tranquility point, to our healing hands and here, coming back in touch with our body, reclaiming that energy that was jumping around with our head and our racing heart and lungs and just, okay, okay, I, I, I hear you. I can see that you are anxious, okay. Us talking to our body, <laughs> the bigger sister, the bigger brother, the loving parent coming to, okay, let's work together on this. Inhaling slowly, gently, and deeply. New inspiration. As you inspire, inhale. Inviting what you feel that you that would nurture you at this moment in your life. And then exhaling what is burdening you. Creating this moment of healing by inhaling slowly, gently, and deeply. And exhaling. Letting go of layers and layers and layers of what's anguishing you, terrifying you, or making you sad, whatever it is that you are processing. Maybe it's the recent news, maybe it's some health issues with yourself, in your own health or in the health of a loved one or relationship. So oh, for any of that, we inhale slowly, gently and deeply. Receiving new inspiration and exhale what's burdening us. As we relinquish layers and layers of what's burdening us, we have opening space for inspiration. So this is a basic, basic um, resource that we always have. And in the three centers meditation that I'm going to share today with you, we are going to use three main centers of energy that have been recognized by all ancient cultures and that are also recognized by our science as plexus and areas of um, importance in our autonomic nervous system. Uh, you know, plexus is places where nerves come together. And so it's a whole area that then through those nerves innervate other organs. And of course, it's also the path of the vagus nerve, which comes out from our brain stem, goes to the side. Let's trace the vagus nerve for a moment, just to know what we are talking about. So we go to the um, area of the brain stem here in the back, and we go along the sides. And then the vagus nerve is going to follow this path here, right in the center, following also the path of the esophagus. And it passes the diaphragm from the same um, hole that the esophagus passes through. And then it innervates also our digestive organs. So it, it influences. Uh, here it's connected with other cranial nerves that connect with our eyes, with our mouth, with our um, nostrils, and then here also with many other nerves and um, the accessory nerve that allows us to move the head, etc. And then it comes down here and it totally influences our heart and lungs, and then it influences our um, spleen and stomach on the left side and our liver and gallbladder on the right side and also it's connected to um, influence also this the the functioning of the kidneys and the adrenals although the adrenals are connected to the sympathetic nervous system which is the one that activates us and when it goes in this function it keeps us in anxiety but because the vagus nerve is the main nerve of the parasympathetic nervous system. Once we help our body to relax, then that sensation uh, is felt at our viscera and is connect collected from by the vagus nerve and sent to the brain 
So that's 80% of our inner state. And then the brain sends 20% more that completes our 100% of our inner state of the same that we are feeling. So when we are feeling anguish, fear, etc., is felt at our body, at our viscera, and then the vagus nerve collects all that messaging, all that sensations, all those sensations, and sends it to the brain, and the brain sends more adrenaline. So we are in a continuous cycle of more anxiety. Or if we are exhausted and closing down, uh, which in polyvagal uh, theory is a ca called freeze or um, other names according to what kind of range of numbing you have, um, we can also close down. But with our breathing and these three centers meditation, we are going to bring balance to all that, to the viscera, at the intestines, at this um, other uh, level here of the um, spleen and stomach, liver and gallbladder, will give a sense of inner peace that will be transmitted to our kidneys and to our adrenal glands and to our heart and our lungs and transmitted also to the brain and the connections between the heart, the face and uh, the head so that our whole body can go more in peace. So, okay, so how is the practice? I understand now a little bit of the scientific background, but how is the practice? Okay, so let's start with the practice of the three centers meditation. It's going to rub our hands. We bring our hands to our abdomen, uh, three finger breaths down from the navel. We have a point called C of energy, and it's the roots of our tree of energy. It's, it's uh, um, the way we relate to ourselves. Uh, this area here has been recognized in ancient traditions as the area of the, the will, the sense of being a, uh, a being, you know, am I, you know, I am I. And so that that vital beginning of us a feeling perhaps a separate self, eventually we progress to understanding that we are all interconnected and intraconnected. And that's more at the level of the heart. And then we are going to progress to understanding that we are part of a universal journey of opening to consciousness that goes beyond our concern with ourselves and encompasses our relation to um, our communities and is even vaster than all that and includes everything. So it's a continuum, how we relate to ourselves, how we relate to others and to nature, and then how do we relate to our purpose in life as evolving consciousness as part of this huge journey of evolving consciousness that's all around us and within us. That's what we are working with today. So we rub our hands, we will go part by part so you see how it's experienced. Rub our hands, we bring the center of our palms to our sea of energy point, which is three finger breaths down from the navel. And because the palms are so big, you know, you just go to your navel, put your hands there and you are covering the sea of energy point. And just bringing the hands here to the abdomen, it already gives a sense of grounding. I don't know, just for a moment, I'll be silent. Just notice as you, as you bring your hands in contact with your body, there is already a sense of the being in the now and uh, being with, with you, with your whole organism, your body, your mind, which is a process that happens uh, responding to how your body is feeling too. So we access the mind through the body. And here you are in contact with this present moment and uh, noticing the sensations of being at this moment here. And then offering some kind of anchoring by bringing the hands there. And now we are going to experience a few abdominal breaths. So as you exhale, you are going to bring your abdomen in and you are exhaling through the nose. And as you exhale through the nose, we imagine that the air goes all the way down and that your abdomen inflates without forcing. You know, this is a gentle way of breathing. It's the way 
Babies breathe at their cot. So it's gentle, it's relaxing. Exhaling, bringing the abdomen in. Towards the back. And when the time comes to inhale, allowing the abdomen to expand. And feeling this sense of grounding, all these vortexes of energy from our pelvic floor to our abdomen, the different chakras in the yoga system, they are all related to this sense of our, um, our sense of grounding, of rooting, of vitality, uh, of will as an individual uh, being. So we are working with all that. And in these times when there is so much challenges, so many challenges, um, it's important that we connect with ourselves, not only with the inner dialogue that we have with ourselves, that sometimes is harsh, but also connect with the reality of how how am I how am I relating to myself? Am I listening to my body when it says it needs to to rest? Am I understanding that my body is going right now through a very big challenge and that it needs all the help it can get? So it needs to move. It needs to eat healthy things, healthy foods. Uh, it needs to um, for me to have time uh, relaxing with music, with gardening, with breathing, with whatever. So at this moment, in this part of the three centers meditation, is also bringing the hands to the area of the abdomen, to the area near the navel, that connection to the beginning of our life, uh, through that navel that we had the connection to our mother. And so our beginning as, as an embodied spirit, as with this body that we have now, how am I taking care of it? And it's not about pampering yourself, going to buy more things, but how am I kindly relating to it, giving it an opportunity to rest, to replenish, of course, if you can, you know, um, going to sleep uh, not too late. And uh, I like to go to sleep at nine. My body already starting at eight. Come on, come on, let's go. And then I do some practices to relax before uh, going into sleep. And if I cannot sleep, I do more practices to relax. I usually can fall asleep more or less easily. But then in the middle of the night, I wake up. And of course, after a moment, one connects again with what's going on in my life, in the world, etc. And so I sit in bed and I again start with these practices of inhaling, exhaling and breathing. You can also stay laying down and massage your body. You know, just when the mind is taking you everywhere, say, OK, OK, we are coming right now to the body. I'm going to massage my viscera, I'm going to um, breathe deeply, I'm going to, you know, just whatever way of assisting your body so that it can relax in the night, um, even if for whatever reason you cannot sleep, uh, do what you can to always love your body and assist it. It's like a cry right now, it's like a crying child that is lost and in pain and or in numbing um, so let's have the hands at the abdomen and let's inhale slowly gently and deeply like sign to the abdomen and exhale bringing the uh, abdomen in, almost like if it's going to touch the back, so all the air out. When the time comes in, trying to direct the attention to the abdomen so that the air goes there and there's inflation in the abdomen and then when the time comes to exhale, using your muscles in the beginning to help a little bit this movement. Eventually, it becomes um, a much more um, 
relax and maybe small movements, but if you have not been doing uh, abdominal breathing and if you um, need to come back with the sensation of the body, then it's important to use a little bit the muscles. Exhaling, bringing the abdomen in, inviting the body to relax as you exhale. Inhaling, allowing that air to go there and feeling the abdomen expanding to the front, to the back, to the sides. Two more times. At your own pace, by your side. Maybe one more. And at this point, um, inviting your relation to yourself to be as nurturing and kind and with self-acceptance as, as you can. And also visualizing ways that for you would be nurturing That will be nurturing for your body, mind, and spirit, for the whole of who you are, the whole of how you experience yourself as an individual being. Let's give thanks for having been born as a human being. And let's commit ourselves to be grateful and celebrate this human being life that, that we have, this precious life, which is not all that long. So can we be every day celebrating that, that we awake, that we can breathe. That the sky is above. Sometimes there are clouds, sometimes there are not, but the sky is always there. In fact, we are the sky and the many circumstances that happen to us are like the weather. But coming back to this sense of commitment of Uh, committing to do the best we can with this life that's given to us. And by the best, I mean kindness. Be kind to yourself. Still with the hands there, the breath has become much more uh, gentle, shallow, if you like. But still the sense of grounding. These are the roots of your tree of energy, your own relation to yourself. And the sense of being grounded by the support that you constantly receive from the earth. And now also by bringing your intention and attention to this sense of grounding from inside out in your relation to yourself, in your caring, in your self-acceptance, your healing. Listen to your body and find the ways of cultivate healthy ways of, of care, of caring, of grounding of support, of safety. So 
for me it has been has been allowing a few more hours of sleep uh not going to not keep working and answering messages and all that until 10 or whatever and just last night I finally went to sleep at 9 and it felt so replenishing and it also brings more when the body has this opportunity to rest then you also have access to uh, more clear insights you know the whole is a whole continuum of body mind and spirit so first working with the roots of your tree of energy your relation to yourself to your body your mind your inner dialogue now we are going to move to the area here with the lungs and the heart and this area of our relations to other people and the world and nature. And so a sense not just of uh, being an individual self, but being interconnected and intraconnected with everything around um, uh, people, nature, pets, plants, everything. So what goes beyond our thinking of ourselves as separate solo cells. So we are going to again draw our hands and bring the hands to the heart. And here we meet our friend, our um, the Sea of Tranquility Point. And we know also that this area is area of Anahata, the heart chakra, the vortex of energy within the classical yoga tradition, and the area of the middle dantian, the middle field of the elixir of health and long life. It's also this area here related to our lungs and our heart, uh, anatomically and physiologically and spiritually in our relation to others. So we work with all of them at the same time by rubbing our hands, bringing the center of our palms to the sea of tranquility point, sensing that touch of our hand on our chest, sensing the movement of the breath under your hands. So you are foregrounding touch, but then you are foregrounding from the inside out, the movement, that movement and the sense of touch. And you can have the two hands if you like. And then we go to something even more subtle, the beating of your heart. Can you sense the beating of your heart? Just for a moment. And smiling to um, your heart and to your lungs. and opening ourselves to a sense of being connected with nature, for example, for that in these days, it's also so good to get yourself out of the house and if at all possible. And um, move in nature, even walking in the neighborhood appreciating the flowers and the dogs and cats and children and old people and whoever, young people, anyone that's your neighbor smiling to them. A sense of being part of a whole big uh, manifestation of life that has many different forms. So that's what is at this level, is going beyond our sense of a struggling solo self to realizing that we are also connected with each other. And at this moment, I invite you to still experiencing this deep breath, inhaling and exhaling. Um, what is your heart asking you in the sense of connecting? Connecting with other manifestations of life. Is it, is it walking? Is it calling someone? Is it 
um, seeing friends. So that's um, something that we also want to cultivate in this time. Very important, the sense of connection, not only the safety and the grounding, but also the connection in whichever form is possible for you or something that you really enjoy. Okay, and then now let's move to the area of the forehead here, the third eye. And this is also a very relaxing point that we sometimes experience by bringing our hands together and you could have your thumbs there at the third eye or further down and just have your index there at the third eye. And I like to use my thumb. This comes from the classical yoga tradition, massaging the third eye. And then while I'm doing this um, three centers meditation, just I keep my hands here and I bring my attention here by wetting the thumb and this area here. And then as I have my hands here, at the chest, at the breast, I connect to the energy of the third eye there, the forehead. And I have again this sense of inhaling like sign and sensing here at the third eye. A sense of light, of inner vision of acceptance and opening to the understanding that we are in a journey of unfolding consciousness and that whatever arises in our life personally and also as communities is an opportunity to keep unfolding our consciousness and to keep growing. And so if we understand that uh, that really is, a, is an opportunity, an opportunity to connect with ourselves uh, as individual selves and taking care at the level of um, nervous system, ener energies, healing energies at the level of connecting with others. And then the purpose of our life, what are we? Are we just a body that was born and once in a while has some spiritual experience or are we a spirit that has this body and is going through many 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 different experiences i invite you at this moment to appreciate your life and all the challenges that have come up in your life and how they have somehow opened you to a little bit more understanding and so understanding that also when there are other bigger challenges that arise in our life, um, a terminal disease, uh, um, huge, huge shocking news, they are also, they, they have within themselves the possibility of learning to um, understand ourselves better and work, commit even more to do the best we can on this mission of discovering what is to be human and what is to be part of this unfolding journey of consciousness. So just a few deep breaths as we visualize here, like if the moon is shining above you and also bathing you with light and especially all the area here of the center of your head And this sense of the same that the moon shines over, over everything, the broken glass and the flowers and the ocean and everything, having a sense of, yes, this clarity, this um, acceptance, this commitment to do the best we can moment to moment is like the moon shining over everything. It's our own inner light, our own connection with universal understanding, which is within us and all around us. I am in Chi, in vital force. Chi is in me. 
I am in spirit, spirit is in me. Um, whatever words are helpful for you to connect with the sense that goes beyond yourselves of individual separate being and uh, it encompasses relations with others and it goes even beyond that. Why are we here? What? Who are we? What are we doing here? <laughs> what can we do? How can we celebrate this precious life? So I invite you in this moment to connect with a moment in your life where you felt this sense of peace. Maybe it was in nature, maybe it was with a grandchild or a pet, or where you felt this sense of being totally present and in peace and beyond any limitations or worries, just present. Find a moment in your life. And connect with that. It's how it felt that moment. And now I'm going to invite ourselves to connect these three centers of energy and this unbroken column of energy that runs through the three centers by first, again, rubbing our hands, bringing it to the level of our abdomen. Sensing the breath there. Inviting that, remembering of a moment where you felt that ease and peace with yourself, grounded, center. It may have been many years ago or recent, it doesn't matter, it's just that experience that you are remembering right now. And going into how it felt. And from this sense of being at peace with yourself, of support, of safety, we move to the area of the heart. And again, I invite you to remember and go cultivate uh, experience, bring it into your foreground, a memory of connection that you felt with nature, with other people, the wider space and the one that just refers to yourself. Spaciousness, connection. And then we come to this moment that you were 
uh, remembering a moment ago or, or another moment that you remember of being at peace. Uh, just totally present beyond any roles, beyond any other physical connection or social connection with somebody else, but just really um, a sense of light, maybe a remembrance of, a, of the moonlight on a summer night or um, being in front of the ocean or sitting under a tree or some some moment when you were just present, not about yourself, not about others, but just just present there. And having this sense at your third eye of light, like the light of the moon, witnessing everything and trusting that everything in your life, everything in our life is a movement towards greater discovery, greater understanding. And the continuum of these three energies, the one about yourself, the one about others, the one of the purpose of our life here, of your life, of you being a human being. In Buddhism, it's said that to be a human being is such an amazing gift and rare opportunity. It's like if a, a ring... Uh, was or a, um, a big circle of um, like a tire, let's say a tire was a uh, drop in the middle of the ocean and then a dolphin came and connected with that in the middle of the ocean. So strange and rare is for us to be human. So it's an incredible opportunity with many challenges and many resources to keep learning. Why are we here? What is to be human? So take these and practice during the week.